if you're looking to take the edge off after a long, hard day at the office, be sure to hit the court with Selenko Hyper G Round. The bright green string that you all know and love now comes in round. Built with impressive tension maintenance, it will give you the needed control to drive the ball powerfully through the court. The low friction surface offers snapback for extra spin and makes this string a great option to blend in a hybrid with possibly a grippier monofilament. Slinko Hyper G has been my number one go-to string over the past several years, as I know many of you also are in the same boat. So it was really gonna be a tough task for Slinko to make a string that I like even more, but Hyper G round really seems to be suited for players like me who like to penetrate the court and aren't specifically looking for all of the spin, all of the arc on their balls. So that's why I really appreciated what they've done with this one. Um, from the minute I first hit it, I felt like I could hit out with confidence and find predictability from the string. Great tension maintenance as well as durability. I'm not a string breaker, but I do notice when strings do bag out and they get mushy. That wasn't the case here with Hyper G Round at all for me. If I'm going to be very critical, it was that there were times through the playtest where I was maybe on the run, a lower shot that I did note that lack of grip from the string. However, I had the chance to try this string in so many different rackets, including my RF97, including the Babolat Pure Drive Tour, the Slinko Whiteout, the Slinko Blackout, all of these rackets. And for me, I started trying it with a hybrid of Hyper G and Hyper G Round. And that's where I could dissipate the issue with that extra grab. So the hybrid of the two strings really did allow me to find that little extra grab. So I didn't really have to go out of my way to generate that extra spin to keep the ball in. All in all, I think this is another great string option from Selenko. Definitely, it's gonna be full bed for players who like to penetrate, aren't looking for the most spin or grab from the ball. But if you're a Hyper G fan, why not try this one? Most of you out there that have watched our reviews, who follow our YouTube channel, have asked us for string recommendations in the past. Most of you know that as a playtest team, we really like Hyper G string. For me, Hyper G's uh, probably my favorite string on the market. Coming into this, had really high hopes of this round version of Hyper G. One of the first things I noticed when I first uh, strung it up in my racket, it did have a bit different feel than the uh, traditional Hyper G. I would say maybe I strung it a little bit too low the very first time, as I was noticing a really nice uh, ball pocketing, maybe just a little bit more of an elastic feel, a pocketing feel compared to the regular one. And also I was getting a good amount of energy return. I wouldn't say um, maybe quite as high powered as like a Luxlon Alu power. Still had really good control, but I was just getting a little bit more launch than, uh, than I would expect. Um, so after that, I kind of increased the tension a bit. I even later on in the play test messed around with um, some pre-stretching. But uh, once I got dialed into the tension, it pretty much just what Michelle was saying, you get a very predictable response. It doesn't have that edge to it. So yeah, maybe not a little, maybe not as much bite from the baseline gripping the ball on my topspin strokes and on the serves, but uh, just felt really good when stepping in, trying to flatten out the ball, felt very predictable coming in for a slice shot up at net. I felt like uh, it was good pocketing for a poly. So very consistent response. I noticed for the playability, um, the first time I strung it up, you know, there was a little bit of a tension loss in the beginning and it settled in well. So once I dialed in the tension, I found a really consistent play from this string. And that's something that I kind of noticed with uh, all the Selenko polys in general, they hold their tension pretty well. So really liked it. I've messed around with different gauges. In this uh, 1820 extended, I went with a thin 17 gauge, even tried an 18 gauge. Um, and then in the Yonex racket here, I actually, what Michelle mentioned is I went regular Hyper G in the mains and the round and the cross to see if I could get that, you know, really sharp bite from the main string and easy snapback that that cross string, that smooth one allows for. So that was fun to try. And also I would mention for hybrid players out there that use multi-filament, natural gut, the round string is definitely the one I would prefer slightly more over the regular Hyper G just because it allows the strings to work well with each other and doesn't quite uh, cut into that soft string as much. So all in all, I'm gonna keep playing with Hyper G round. Love the Hyper G series in general. For this review of Hyper G Round, we tried a bunch of different gauges, tensions, and a lot of different rackets. But for today, I have it in the Whiteout Extended 1820 in the 17 gauge at 50 pounds. And Michelle had it in her RF97 in the 16L 1.25 at 55 pounds. For more information on this string or anything tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.